Hi everyone, my name is Farheen Chambasani. I'm a senior high school student in Jakarta Intercultural School, and today I'm representing Code Red. Code Red is an organization that aims to empower young girls to not be limited by their body's natural cycle through education, advocacy, and conversation. We primarily focus on two different sectors. Our first sector is education. We host weekly sessions every Tuesday with girls from underprivileged local communities, during which we teach them about their menstrual cycle and menstrual hygiene. The second one is advocacy. We work in collaboration with UNICEF Indonesia and several menstrual pad companies in Jakarta to curate menstrual care kits for children in a school for trash pickers children. The school is better known as Skala Kami. These menstrual care kits consist of soap, menstrual pads, as well as a comic book published by UNICEF Indonesia to teach the kids more about their menstrual cycle. We also focus on dispelling taboos surrounding menstruation in Indonesia. The activities we use to convey this information was taught to us during the UNICEF MKM training session that we attended in May 2019. Our lessons are structured in the format of a 20-minute lesson and a 40-minute activity. Our visit to Skala Kami was structured in a presentation and game-like manner, just like our weekly sessions are. We began by doing a presentation, stopping occasionally to conduct a few of the activities taught to us during our UNICEF MKM training sessions with the kids to ensure that they were engaged. Following up from that, we conducted a few games to reinforce everything that was taught during the lesson and to ensure that there were no confusions. While the officers of Code Red speak Bahasa Indonesia, we do not do so very fluently. For that reason, there was a large language barrier that we had to work extremely hard to overcome. We initially really struggled with giving presentations and answering questions, but we combated this issue by rehearsing extensively beforehand and having answers prepared for questions that were asked to us frequently. And when it comes to the students, I think the part of our presentation that surrounded the idea of dispelling taboos regarding menstruation in Indonesia was the most challenging for them. This is because statements such as, you can't wash your hair when you're on your period, or girls that are on their period need to carry a broom with them if they want to leave their house after 6 p.m. are things that they grew up learning from their parents. It was really hard for them to understand that there is no scientific evidence to prove that these statements are true. But after some time, a lot of patience and teaching, we all ended up laughing at how bizarre these statements really are. I think for us, whether it be in our weekly sessions or during our visits to Skala Kami, it really just comes down to the process of building such special relationships with all the girls that we work with. It's such a rewarding and humbling experience to see them light up when they know how to answer a question or when they win a game. We're so proud of them and it makes us so happy to see them grow and become more knowledgeable about their menstrual cycle. This whole process has really shown us just how severe the lack of menstrual education and menstrual hygiene is in Indonesia. We've also learned how to effectively teach kids about this process. It takes kindness, patience, and determination to do so. Although the Code Red officers are going to university this year, we've passed everything that we know to our new set of officers and we are confident that they are going to continue to do great things. I really hope we can work hand in hand to dispel taboos surrounding menstruation in Indonesia as well as give girls the access to menstrual hygiene that every girl should have no matter her socioeconomic standing. Menstrual products are a necessity, not a luxury. Thank you.